Yeah, okay. We can just make it like 45 minutes. It doesn't have to be now. If that. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I really do have the hiccups real bad. What Yo, it is picking up your mattress movements. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Just lay the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> and just don't move. She's gonna like try and drink. That's gonna last for two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a rough podcast. I'm gonna be hiccuping. She's gonna be moving. <laughs> All right. Cafe. I'm Nick Potts. I'm um, Emily Potts. And we drink coffee and talk about the podcast we're listening to. Yeah, and we're in the same room today. Yeah, for the second time ever. Woohoo! What kind of coffee are you drinking? Oh, okay, we're just going to skip right to that. Um, yeah. I am drinking a blackout <laughs> from the Spy Spyglass? Spy House. Spy House? From the Spy House coffee shop. Not the, just Spy House. Oh, just Spy House. Drop the, the. <clears throat> coffee shop in Minneapolis. A blackout is coffee and espresso in the same cup. It's and like an Americano, but next level. But not water coffee. Yeah, it's next level. It's definitely next level. It's a it's a it's kind of a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like if you really like you got a big day. It's very strong. I can't stop my legs from moving after drinking it. <laughs> um, um. Okay. We have an audience today. We do. We have an extra person in the room, so there may be some back noise. She's being annoying. <laughs> Plus, I have hiccups. The hiccups. I have the hiccups, so that might be happening. Um. Anyway, the, this coffee is uh, situational, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that's got to stop. That was... Yeah, the that's, hiccup. The hic- that was the, hic- the aforementioned hiccup. Wow. Um... Anyway, so my coffee's pretty good. I give it like an 8 out of 10. Just because it's situational. I think at the right situation it could be a 10 out of 10, but right now it's only an 8. Okay. Okay. It's fair. What about you? What are you drinking? Um, I don't really know. Um, I'm drinking the seasonal latte. Mm. I'm kind of a sucker for anything seasonal. I saw the sign. It was like pecan something. Yeah. And there's like sage in it. Sage, pecan, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta cut that out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hold, hold your breath while I continue to talk about my coffee. Um, yeah. I just think I really like seasonal things in general. Specifically, like, fall and winter seasonal things. They're just, like, it's a good time. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. How'd that go? Hopefully it's fixed. What do you rate it? Um, I think I'm gonna give it... Like a seven. I seven. like the flavor, but I think there's just slightly too much milk. Mm. I don't like like I'm a black coffee drinker, so I want to like that milk and honey thing. Yeah, yeah, I do like that. But not this time. Yeah, one of the this isn't the milk and honey thing. I don't know. Okay. Seven, seven Fair coffee. Enough. Not too bad. Um, all right, so. This week we did a storytelling podcast. Yeah. Uh, Your this, favorite genre. It is my favorite genre. Uh, this one was called Steal the Stars. and The hiccups are not gone. Yeah, no, they're not. So, sorry. Um, called Steal the Stars. It was a pretty short one. It's only 14 episodes. And we actually made it through. Yeah, we listened to all of them. Just finished them just now. <laughs> Yep, you gotta cut There's, that out. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I need so much less of that. Um. So yeah, basically, uh, uh, it's hard to just introduce it unless we are gonna talk about content, re- really. Um. Yeah. Well, it's like a sci-fi podcast. We it is sci-fi. That. Yeah, sci-fi. So. Um. Yeah. Let's just like jump right in. Yeah. Let's just go right into the so, intro. So, what do you think about the intro? Can you see okay? Assuming I'm not hallucinating right now. Do you see a seven-foot gray alien? 
Yup. Then you're not hallucinating. Say hi to Moss. Um, well, they do something a little different where they do kind of like a TV show where they do a little scene before they go into like the show intro. Yeah. Um, which I think I kind of like. It's kind of nice. Yeah, it's like it's like before the opening music plays of any sort of TV show. Yeah, right. And I guess like the intro music is it's it's pretty good actually. It's literally just clapping. It sounds like. Yeah. But um, I clap along sometimes. Oh, you do. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Um, and it's fairly short and. I do. I like. I do like the opening scene. Um, just kind of like immerses you right away. What would you rate it? Uh, probably a nine. Wow. Okay. Yeah, pretty good. Um, I think I agree. I like it. Um, I'd probably give it a nine too. I like that. Like you get a little. Here's what's gonna happen in the episode. Type a little teaser, then it plays music, and then I'm like, all right, here we go. Like, I, I feel like I just, I know what's coming. And I like that. Yeah, I like it. I like the uh, difference. <laughs> okay. Okay, well. Let's jump into content, because this yeah. is gonna be the bulk of the episode. Yeah. Anyways. Um, so, this story, Still the Stars, I, going into it, I heard about it on another podcast, some, because, uh, some people who do an actual play podcast had like friends who were voice acting in it. Oh. Um, so that's how I heard about it. And I heard and initially thought it was about aliens and stuff. I've changed my mind on that. It is about, well, it's not about aliens. It's about an alien really. Mm -hmm. And a spaceship and like a secret government agency that's studying it. But more so, than that it's really just like a relationship story that the alien thing and the sci-fi thing is really just a setting for or the dynamic between um Dak and Matt yeah um I was like so I, yeah it's kind of just like a love story really. it is it really is but um you know what I find difficult about this podcast mm. so they describe like scenes and people and like appearances pretty well but i have a very hard time picturing aliens mm. like when they describe things i'm like i don't have a, a vision in my head of what this thing looks like um i'm, I'm really struggling with imagination i imagine well they said it had big black eyes mm -hmm. um and green moss growing out of its chest yeah so i imagine it have being like you know what the typical gray alien looks like like no. the big head and skinny oh, yeah. body but yeah. the big black eyes I picture it like that but with like green chest hair but like a lot of it oh That's I just googled like, gray alien what does it look like it's scary let me see like that yeah pretty much that's what I yeah mm. that's what I think it looks like I was kind of just picturing a pile of moss for a while oh <laughs> I was like I don't know they just keep talking about moss well so. it is confusing because they named it moss yeah. The stuff on his chest is called moss. Mm -hmm. And then, spoiler alert, if you don't want to know the ending, stop listening here. For a minute. Spoiler, and yeah, spoiler alert. When the alien comes to life and starts talking, it refers to itself as the moss. Mm. So, mm -hmm. a lot of moss going around. Pretty confusing. Yeah. And then there was like another thing called the harp, which I didn't understand what it was. Yeah, the harp was another... So the spaceship crashed, there was an alien in it. And then the harp was another thing inside the spaceship that they thought was a, like, generator Yeah. for the spaceship. Turns out, not what it is in the end. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it, it was like a... Turned out being like a weapon of some sort. But um, yeah, so that's the overall... 
plot of it, but it's it's really not. I can't help the I hiccups. I don't I know what to tell you. To the hiccups anymore. They can do I don't know what to tell you. I can't do anything about it. Um, Go do. You gotta drink water upside down. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is not going well. There was, uh, there's a lot of noises going on. Okay, you need to get some water and do like a hand sanitizer. I don't think that actually yeah, works. And then drink the water. I'll just you talk for a minute and I'll work it out right now. Okay, so. Okay, so, anyway, yeah, it's, like, part sci-fi, mostly just love story, and I think the love story part was, like, fine, but also, like, a little annoying to me. Like, I don't like to listen to, like, the kissing noises and the heavy breathing. Mm. It was just, like, just too much in my ear, mostly, like, when I'm sitting at work and listening to it, because then I'm, like, at work, and I'm, like, oh, yeah, there's people having sex in my ear. Uh, <laughs> well, at least you don't listen to it out loud. God, no, that would be be horrible. Um, So I think that's one part of the content that I just, like, really didn't enjoy, but, I mean, I get it. (laughs) (laughs) We're not posting this episode. This can't. This can't. Are you crying? No. Uh, It's really funny, though. Handstand upside down with water. All right. It doesn't. Do a handstand, just bend. Yeah, you can just bend over. You just gotta be upside down while you're drinking water. Wait till you feel it go down. Yeah, what she said. All right, you can keep talking. We're gonna take a unscheduled <laughs> break to get rid of hiccups, so that it doesn't annoy anyone else. <laughs> Where are your cups? Above the sink. Good luck editing this episode. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> you thought I was gonna be bad. <laughs> Alright, what do I have to do? Bend, oh. bend over. Put it in your mouth. And then bend your top half over. No. No. <laughs> Take a sip so the water don't put the glass in your mouth. Put the water in your mouth. What's <laughs> happening? Oh my god. Take a sip of the water. Okay. Don't swallow it. Don't swallow it. Bend over. Mm-hmm. And then swallow it and wait till you feel it go all the way down. You're not even bent over. Yeah. I don't have the flexibility <laughs> for this. You were not on bent over long enough. Okay, hold on. Try again. How's that? That looked good. Okay. All right, want to come back and keep That's talking right. about the content? I'll give it a shot. Um, I feel like I had something else I wanted to say. Let me go back to some of my notes here. Okay. Give me a moment, please. Oof. So, um, I didn't, I didn't hiccup. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me laugh though, because I don't want to redo it. I don't know. Um, what I was going to talk about is uh, the content is like, it's in first person perspective, first of all, and there's like a first person narration. So the main character, Dak, narrates the story, but then also goes into character. Yeah. Um, I actually don't like that. I don't like stories in first person point of view. I think it's uh, confusing. First person, no, I, I want to take that back. First person's fine. First person present tense, I don't like. I don't feel like it makes sense. What? <laughs> I could just give you an example. <laughs> Present tense is like... The story might be told in the first person, I. Yes. Second person, you, or third person, she. It yes. could also be told in past tense or present tense. Mm-hmm. Ah. Okay. I prefer past tense because that's it makes sense as a mode of storytelling to me. Present tense... When you're narrating, just like, I don't know, it doesn't, because then it's like happening right here and now, and then, but then you're also hearing their, I don't know, I just it's don't It's kind like of like it. her thoughts and reactions on things. Yeah, but. more Less than, not as much narration. 
like describing what she sees. Yeah, it's true. But it's more, true. it's like this is what she's thinking right now. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I guess I just like don't. As a narrator, I don't think it should a story should be narrated in present tense because if it's just happening right there and you're the, the point of being in present tense is you're supposed to feel like you're there in the action. Mm, yeah. And if someone's telling me about it, it feels like I'm not whereas it should just be well, I guess I see this is this is why it trips me up because the narrator who is in the story doing the things right now is also telling me what's happening right here and now. Mm-hmm. And to me, if they're doing it, they shouldn't be telling me about it. So, I don't know. That's my tense pickiness, but... Okay. That's that's probably the only negative thing I really have to say about the content. Okay. I think that's fair. Yeah, I did think... I'm trying to think of if that bothered me or not. I think it's a little confusing. Because then I couldn't tell when she was done telling me her thoughts and when she got back to talking to people mm-hmm. until someone replied to her. Right. Then I was like, oh, she's talking to the homies again. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I prefer, I just prefer past tense in storytelling, but. Yeah. I think content wise, it was pretty good though. Like the, like something happened in each episode, you know? Yeah. They do a very good job of leaving you on a cliffhanger yeah. in each episode and picking up um r- like in the middle of action uh-huh. um just yeah starting you right in the middle of a scene instead of like having some like <sighs> prologue to every scene or like introduction to a scene yeah um one thing they don't they don't do this right is they don't do like a previously on uh, no, but they do a next time Next on. time on. Yeah. But I feel like a previously on is a little more helpful. That's true. Especially if there's a gap between listening to them. Yeah. <laughs> One piece of, and I don't know, this isn't probably really content. This is probably structure. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, one thing I find confusing is their ad portion being in the middle of the story. Like, kind of mid-sentence. <laughs> yeah, let's do this in structure. Is that next, anyways? Well, I'm not getting so. No. Entertainment value is next. Oh, let's let's uh, well, let's rate content real quick. All right, I think I'm gonna. Well, okay. So here's the thing. I think the content is good. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll continue my sense in the next category. Okay. So I'm gonna give it. An eight. An eight, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm gonna give it a nine, I think. The only drawback for me is the present tense. First person present tense. Otherwise, it's great. Yeah. It was a good story, I think. Yeah. I kind of like the idea of using like a crazy sci fi um, story as like the backdrop, as a setting for just atypical love story Mm -hmm. that's pretty cool it's a new take on it anyway what's nuts entertainment value entertainment value well there isn't any more currently so there's nothing to go back to but if i hadn't finished it i probably would it was pretty easy for me to keep listening to so i think i'm gonna just give it a nine um okay so here's my thing I I don't think I would have finished it if we didn't finish it. Oh no, why not? Um well, actually maybe I would have. I did like it and it was like easy to listen to while I was working. But um I don't I don't know if sci-fi is like my thing. Mm. You know? Yeah. Like I didn't I didn't mind it cuz it wasn't like super weird sci-fi it wasn't like really it was about mostly the aliens. a people story. Oh, yeah. But I just, like, couldn't... I think that's why I had a hard time picturing it, because I was, like, into the love story portion of it, like, was just hoping they got together and they survived, but then when they started to talk about keeping the alien alive and stuff, and I was just like, I don't yeah, know. what's going on. Yeah. So, I think I would have finished it, though, because I think I liked that it was short. Like, I didn't feel Only like I... 14 episodes? Yeah, because I think... So, when you're listening to it, like... I don't know if these all came out at once. I don't think so. 
Okay. But I don't know. But I feel like when you're like listening as it's coming out, it's easy to keep up. Mm. But if you like start something new, like when all the episodes are already out, I feel like 14 is like manageable. Where yeah. versus if it's like a hundred episodes, I'd be like, I don't want to do this because it's I don't easy want to. to see the end. Yeah. That way. yeah. 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 That makes sense. I agree. So what do you score it then? Mm. I think I'm gonna give it uh, an eight. Okay, eight's pretty good. Yeah, I mean I like it. I just yeah. you know, I'm not I'm not like super alien. I don't know. Um. All right. What's the uh, what's next? The structure. Structure. Uh. Well, we already talked about it. it's a pretty short season. It's only fourteen yeah. episodes, which is nice, I guess. Uh. Also, the episodes themselves are really short. Yeah. They're like thirty minutes tops. 20 some of them were 20 some minutes the very last episode was like 42 minutes yeah which is the longest one but they're short and i really like that short they're short because i think it's easier to feel like you're making progress you can when you get you just get done with them faster and you make progress with the story faster whereas you might only have time for other podcasts you might only have time for one hour hour and a half episode a day yeah where this one you could listen to like four or something Mm -hmm. um so that's really nice I agree. I like that. Because then it's like, I don't know, like, listening to a few, I can, like, then stop at the end of one and, like, go do something else and come back. Versus, like, if it's super long, you feel like you have to stop in the middle or something. Like, you, I yeah. feel like I could always finish the episode, which That's I true. Like. That's true. Yeah. Easy breaking points. Yeah. Um, what we started talking about was the ad thing. I don't know if this was just because I listened to it on Spotify. You did Me too, too, right? I don't know if this was just a Spotify thing. But oh, there's... is it different on all of them? Well, I never listened to it on anything else. Me either, yeah. But on Spotify, at least, their sponsorship portion, it was weird. They Because they take breaks, little yeah. transitions. And during the middle transition, they have they it, they it obviously have sponsors, but it's like they, tr- they started to cut them out, but didn't cut it all the way out because the sponsors come in at the very end. It's like... Also sponsored by Audible, or like, <laughs> yeah, also by Audible, and yeah. then, and then... But it's like, it's it. I feel like it's just always in the middle. Like, what? Like, she'll be talking, and then Oh, you like, think the breaks are weird? At yeah. At weird points? I think they're choppy, because like, she'll be in the middle of a thought, sentence, scene, whatnot, and then, all of a sudden, Audible, and then we jump back into the same scene, and I'm like, what just happened? <laughs> Maybe they're like trying too hard to leave you in suspense for that break yeah and it's just breaking weirdly but yeah the the, yeah the sponsorship thing is weird that might be more production though we should talk about that in production but the middle the break in the middle is definitely structure yeah they have like uh the scene intro break then they have the show then the weird middle break and then the ending and then their next time on I don't know. I, I still will give it like a nine probably just because the short season and short episodes really do it for me. Mm-hmm. I think I'll give it a nine too. Uh, yeah. I don't really have anything else to say about that. Okay. <laughs> production? Yeah. One of the things I like, and I don't know if this is production, but I'm going to put it here. I like that. So at first the main character, Dakota's voice was kind of annoying me. But I don't think it really annoyed me that much because I liked that I could distinguish between characters very easily. Like, they chose very different voices for all the people, and that was, that's great for me. That was probably the number one thing I was going to say for production, is the voice acting was phenomenal, I think. It was very good. Um, Dakota did a really good job. Whoever played Dakota, I'm not sure who, but they all did really good. It, it's really good voice acting. I love her voice only for, I th- it really helped me picture her character. Yeah. Like I don't I don't want to be mean to the person doing the voice acting, but her voice was pretty unattractive. <laughs> <And> <laughs> Poor woman. And. Uh, Girl, you got an ugly voice. <laughs> yes, her voice is not great. It's it, it's we it was like. I mean, maybe some people are into it, but it's, like, low and raspy. Like, she smokes a pack a day, and I don't know. And she's not... Her character in the story is not supposed to be attractive. Um, so it was fitting, I guess. <laughs> what did? What was the line she said about herself? Oh, sturdy? 
Oh, yeah. I bet, you, I bet you've never taken your shirt off and nobody's called you sturdy. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, that is really funny. Uh, it's Yeah, so the voice acting's really good and the writing's really good. Lines like that yeah. were really funny. And I thought the dialogue was really real. Um, it just felt like things people would actually say in conversation. Yeah. And the dialogue they wrote for, made each character seem individual. Like different characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like it didn't seem like they were just sitting and reading it, you know? Like yeah. it was, oh, look. Huh. Well, I'm just on their website right now. Oh, yeah. There's oh, that's what it looks like. The, the alien. The gray alien. Oh, what a fun thing. What? They have a quiz. Do you have what it takes to get away with grand... That get, larceny? Yeah, no, Grand Theft Extraterrestrial. Take our Steal the Stars quiz and find out. You want to take it? Yeah. Let's fine. take it. Okay. Uh, would you survive? Oh, look, here he is. Where's the moss, though? <laughs> <laughs> would you survive? He looks like an alien version of Uncle Sam. Let's play it. In the podcast, Steal the Stars, former soldiers Dak and Matt try to pull off the ultimate heist. Stealing the alien body they've been guarding. Do you have what it takes to get away with grand theft extraterrestrial? Let's, Let's play. Out. It's your first day. Do you show up 10 minutes early to show respect for your superior's time? Or wake up late and fly out the door forgetting your phone as you go? I show up 10 minutes early. Yeah, for sure. Easy. You're always supposed to get there before your boss and leave after your boss until you really rock with yourself. Is that a rule? That's what I tell my analyst. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't do that. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I do think you should do that. Anyway, you've met your new co-workers and one of them is incredibly attractive. Ooh. Incredibly attractive? Yeah. Ooh. Do you flirtily introduce yourself? And they have this funny picture of people making hearts. A heart <laughs> sign with their hands? <laughs> Or, ignore them. Fraternization is against the rules, after all. Ugh. Well, I don't want to be a Grant. I would ignore them. Well, really? Yeah, play hard to get. (laughs) (laughs) That's not what it says, though. I know. (laughs) (laughs) I would probably introduce myself. Not playing hard to get. I don't want to be Grant in the story. Grant was the worst. I know, he, he was the worst. Okay, you discover the thing you're guarding is an alien corpse. Mm. What's your first thought? Holy crap, my life is cool. Or, holy crap, I wonder how much this thing is worth on the black market. Holy crap, my life is cool. Yeah, Yeah. I I would never go black market. No, I don't know how to get in touch with the black market. All right, the lure of a giant payday is too much. You decide to steal the alien and sell the corpse. Do you? Recruit an ally. This is too big of a job for one person. Or go it alone. The more people you who know, the more chances for betrayal. For sure an ally. Do you think so? You would do this alone? You and an alien? Yeah, I guess you go with an ally. Yeah, I think an ally. Okay. Who are you selling it to? A journalist. They're backed by a major corporation and will get the story out there. Another shadowy secret organization. They have the most money. Who do we sell it to? Uh, mm. mm, I think I sell it... I think I sell it to a journalist. I like the journalist too, but like... Is the journalist just going to keep the alien then? Or is the person going to give it to the corporation? I would like to make sure it's not just in the hands of one human. Well, I think I think the journalist is the best option there because I think they're going to be more wanting to put a story out and then yeah. everybody will know about it. A government organization, I'd be worried, would rip me off. That's true. Okay, we'll, we'll give it to the journalist. All right. How are you planning to get past the checkpoints? Tech. I'm going to hack the system or find someone who can. Or finesse. I'm going to manipulate the situation so that the rules change to my advantage. Mm. Mm. I like tech. You like tech? Mm-hmm. I like finesse. 
<laughs> you would like finesse. <laughs> yeah. Fine. We'll go with finesse, but um, let it be noted that I like tech. What is your getaway plan? Procure a car with clean plates and swap frequently and swap frequently on way to my safe house. On the way to my safe house. Wow, that was really hard for me to yeah, read. Yeah, it seemed like I it. don't know what happened. Okay, so basically get a car and then go to a safe house. Okay. Or. Or. Planes and trains to the border using an alternate set of IDs. Uh, no, not if I have to transport a body. Yeah, I think we can't have an ID for the body. No, yeah, the car. The car is going to be easier. Okay. Your former employer is on your tail. What are you going to do? Stay calm. Change cars again. You can shake them. Hopefully. Or put the pedal to the metal. Maybe you can outrun them to your rendezvous. Stay calm. I think you got it. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're not going to panic. We got this. No, yeah. Okay. Two more questions. You make it to the rendezvous, but your former employer is right behind you. Do you try to convince your buyer to send people out to slow them down while you make the handoff? Or go out yourself to slow them down. You've got better training than those clowns anyway. Ooh. I think we got to do it ourselves. You think? Well, we know them, you know? Like, we'll know I how guess. to trick them. And yeah, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. We got the inside scoop. Sure. Okay, last question. Okay. If you get out of this alive, what's your plan? Hit the beach, sun, sand, and a drink with a little umbrella in it for the rest of your days. That sounds nice. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the second one is. <laughs> Disappear into the depths of a non-extradition country. China, maybe. Yep. That's the one for me. I'm not a beach person. The beach sounds nice. Mm-hmm. Let's see what happened. Oh. Did you survive? Did we? Yes. Oh. You were cool under pressure and made the right calls to get out of a tricky situation alive. Easy. And with money, you and possibly your partner are going to live the rest of your lives in comfort and anonymity. Excellent. And. And. Anonymity. 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 And then the mini. It's a tough word. And then the mini. Um, okay. Congratulations. Well, good. We're good then. Yeah, that was fun. No problem. Okay. All right, so. I forgot what we were talking about. Production's a 10 for me. Oh, production. That's what we were talking about. Yeah. I also like their website. I think production. That's a production thing. I think, um, I think I'm a 10 as well. Wow, this is a really high scoring podcast. What do we got? Well, your average comes up to a 9.2. Mine comes up to an 8.8, so we're right around a 9. I'm solid at a 9, yeah. Me too. That sounds good to me. I feel really good about a 9. Cool. I hope they have a sequel. Well, that's what I was just looking to see. Let me see if I can get some more information. Okay. Um, I did really enjoy it. I just really, I really enjoyed the production, I think. It did a very, very good job. Yeah. It doesn't seem to tell me that... Um, more is coming. Well, they did have some bonus episodes after that we didn't listen yeah, to, so, so we might need to check those out. Um, they were longer, so. Oh. They might be good. I yeah, we'll check them out. We'll check we'll them see. out. I don't know. You got anything else to say about it? Um, hold on. I'm trying to look at all possible ways to figure out if there will be more. Oh, okay. I don't think there's going to be more. Bomber. I know. This is it. Well, they're... they're Maybe uh, they'll do a, like a spinoff show or something. Yeah. Well, their company... The, the production company does other ones too, not just this one, so yeah. they've put out other stories. Maybe I'll have to check those out. I think that's all I really had to say. All right, cool. Well, uh, why don't you tell the people where they can find us and them? Yeah. And let's write um, it So you can listen to all 14 episodes of Steel the Stars on um, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, Spotify, Stitcher, and... Um, yeah, that's it. Um, and you can pretty much listen to us on the same. Except for SoundCloud. Yeah, we're not on SoundCloud. So we're not rappers. Um, no. But we could be. Yeah, I guess we could. Do, do, uh, uh, to Steal Star. Oh, one thing I wanted to say is... Were you just about to rap about Steal Stars? Yeah. 
One thing I wanted to say is in the very first episode, yeah. I really like when shows do this. They have the title of the show. They weave it into the dialogue some somehow. I forgot how they did it, but they did it in the first episode, and I really enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. I didn't notice that, actually. Yeah, it was pretty great. Okay. That's it. Um, okay, yeah, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, you can listen to us on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, or Libsyn. And you can email us at podcafe.contact at gmail, or you can tweet at us at the underscore podcafe. And you should listen to Steal the Stars, because that was a good stories one. Um, Wait, do you think it was better than The Bright Sessions? That's what I was about to ask, but I couldn't remember what the last one was called. Oh. Hmm. It was easier to make it through, because there were less episodes. Yeah, that's true. They were different. Different. I think this was easier for me to follow. Yeah, it was, ve- it was more of a story structure. The Bright Sessions was very, like, not narrated. It was, yeah. like, in the action, you're getting information by the senses by like hearing and mostly hearing because it's an audio podcast we didn't really talk about this when we just did this review but we talked about it a lot when we did the bright sessions of like the noises beyond the voices like yeah things that could, w- would be a production thing yeah. the bright sessions did more of that they did a lot more and they, they did. did it better i think but that was their main like mode of giving us information in the story where this one had a narration so yeah. it could tell us more yeah um, there was still some background noises and stuff, I think, in this one, right? Yeah, there was. Like, when you heard, like, the the um, suits going on and off, yeah, or, like, yeah. the generator the thing. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. They did a good job of, like, muffling voices when there was supposed to be background noise in the story covering them up and stuff. Yeah, and, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, Changing I dynamics. Um, so, it was pretty good. I do think the Bright Sessions did better with that, but, uh, again, different... Just different method of storytelling. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, live long and prosper. It's from Star Trek. Oh, okay. You got any? You got any alien things? Live long and prosper, and drink water upside down when you're trying to get rid of your. It hiccups. worked. I don't have hiccups anymore. Woo! Woohoo! Okay. Bye.